All right, boys, so we have got to talk about the Frost Wielder. I have not felt as powerful as I have on other classes as I do with the Frost Wielder. Now, the way that you get this class, well, it's not really getting it, but it is a combination of the Berserker and the Spore Warden. Now, what I'm doing with this class is using the action skill of the Spore Warden, the Ice Tornadoes, but then using all of the Frost bonus damage things of the Berserker. Of course, I'm using some enchantments and stuff like that, and I'll show you my skill tree in a second, but this class, it literally feels like I can just freeze enemies before they're even close to being dead. And I can just keep enemies in control, kill them, do extra damage to frozen enemies. I can keep spawning in the, the ice tornadoes because of the way my skill tree is set up. And I'm not even max level yet. I'm only level 28 or 29 or something like that. I can't imagine what this thing can do when I'm level 40 and I have all my skill points where they need to be. So let's move on to my skill tree now. So like I just stated, I am using Blizzard, which is the action skill of the Spore Warden, the Fate Maker creates three frost clones for a duration that seek out nearby enemies dealing frost ability damage over time. Now as you can see my frost ability damage is 125 per second and then not to mention that when I have Rage of the Ancients which is the class feat of the Berserker, on action skill start the Fate Maker becomes enraged while enraged he deals bonus frost damage for a short duration. Enraged duration will not deplete while an action skill is active and ends if a Fate Maker enters save your soul. Activating an action skill when already enraged restores a portion of the enraged timer. Now I have a couple of other uh, skills that are going to buff up what the enraged does. Like for example, it, it increases my health regen. I do bonus frost efficiency and is doubled when enraged. I have increased reload speed. And there's a couple of other things. Like for example, I have this one, Ancestral Frost, <laughs> which is going to increase my frost damage. I have this one, which is I do more damage to slowed enemies. The closer they are to being frozen, I deal more damage to them. Now there's one that's very, very important that I have not unlocked yet. As you guys can see, I'm only level 28. Oh, I might as well here, <laughs> might as well just go over my hero points. I have 35 attunement, 35 attunement. And the way I got that is by picking the archetype, the pack rat. And I also have 31 intelligence, which makes my spell cooldown plus 21%. This is plus 25% on my action skill cooldown. I love spamming my abilities, so that's just me. You could also be fine with going into wisdom for that status damage. So like I said, I am level 28, and the next perk I'm gonna get is Blood of the Fallen. It's a kill skill. The Fate Maker's remaining action skill cooldown is reduced by a percentage. If his action skill is currently active, restore percentage of his duration instead. This is going to play perfectly because of the blizzards they last a while. I keep getting kills while it's active is going to extend the duration. Once it's over, getting kills is going to shorten that duration. So, well, I guess the cooldown of the action skill, which is going to allow me to activate it and then bring it back even faster, make it last longer and so on. I believe I also have this, a portion of the Fate Maker's active and rage timer and a percentage of his maximum health are restored every time I get a kill. So you guys can already see that it's all about getting kills, getting my action skill back, freezing everything, causing tons of frost damage, and I'm not even fully leveled up yet. I believe that once I get this skill, I'm probably gonna go with here, increase ability damage. I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to get Wrath of Nature. I don't know if I have enough skill points for it, but it says, whenever the Fate Maker deals ability damage to an enemy, the affected enemy takes increased damage from all sources for duration damage increased by plus 18 so an enemy takes plus 18 percent extra damage once they get hit with the ice tornadoes now i don't believe i'll have enough skill points to get this but maybe i do i don't know yet i think i need what plus 15 more i'm going to use one here i'm level 28 yeah i don't think i'll be able to get it but it's all right i mean I, you know i'll be fine with the ability damage and i don't know i'll look at whatever else i can get now let's move on to my inventory though because i do have a couple of perks and some of my weapons or enchantments i should say now it's only really important that you have at least one frost weapon i'm using birthright of the stone prison i was also using this um stoking scalawag of extravagance it's a skull dugger uh, i really like this type of weapon but i figured i would try this one out you can just mess around and see whatever frost weapon you like this one's actually pretty cool because it kind of as i'm doing damage it rains down these like Ice Comets, I don't know how to explain that. I didn't get any footage of it because I literally just got it, so I didn't record anything. The gameplay you're seeing is, or you're going to see, is I've been recording it over the past couple of days. So honestly, you're gonna see lower level footage and now I'm recording it when I have the time and I'm a higher level now. Um, but some of the other enchantments I have, like this right here, states that while action skill is active, increase force damage by 10%. Uh, on spell cast, increase force damage by 12% for five seconds. I have on action skill start increase spell damage by 16% for 10 seconds. 
on action skill start increase spell damage by 8% for 10 seconds. I have a couple of other ones on action skill start increase damage dealt by 8% for 20 seconds. I believe I know. Oh no, I don't have another one. But then this, I have this amulet, which increases my frost damage and berserker power, and also reduces my action skill cooldown. So I have a lot of things that are gearing towards frost damage and action skill cooldown rate. And this is just an all-around build so far, definitely geared towards frost damage. I'm absolutely loving it. Now I'm not even done loving it. Like I said, I'm using some low-level gear. Like this is level 21. Uh, this is literally level seven, and <laughs> I love this chest piece or this armor piece, I should say, because it gives me plus two in the bonus frost damage and plus two in the frost efficiency. I'm looking for one that also gives me spore warden power, but I don't have one yet, so I'm literally sticking with this one I got when I was level seven, and I have not taken it off. Now, as you guys are seeing in this footage, I can literally freeze everything, I can kill everything, I can do so much damage. I do run into some small issues when I'm facing the red bar enemies, which is like the flesh or skin enemies. Um, because I'm not using a fire weapon or solar weapon, but it's okay because there's times where I can literally just chew through that with how much frost damage I'm doing. The tornadoes do a lot of damage. My spell does a lot of damage. And that's another thing I've been playing around with so many different kinds of spells. I have ones that almost summon like a mini tornado. I have some that's literally just an ice spike. I have some that are kind of like ice mines that they stick into enemies and then they blow up. Like you have so much flexibility with your uh, spell as long as the frost spell. Now, when I started, I did start playing as a graveborn and honestly, I think I might switch to the Frost Weeder. And I absolutely love the Graveborn. It's so cool. It feels nice. I'm able to leech so much health. But the Graveborn, I'm sorry, but the Frost Weeder is just like, uh, it's just so good. It literally feels like I'm using Stasis from Destiny in Wonderlands. Like it is that strong. You're able to freeze so many things. You're able to summon so many ice tornadoes. And I'm not even fully leveled up yet. That is the thing that is most astounding to me is that I'm not even fully leveled up. And I can't wait to see what it's like once I have all max leveled gear, all my skill points where they need to be, max out stats, and I just can't wait till I get to that point. So if you don't know what you want to do next, or if you're looking for a type of ice build, a frost build, this is the one you got to try. Of course, you can probably do something with the spell shot and mainly focus on frost spells. That does sound pretty interesting. I might have to think about that. But this is a different variation of a frost mage or just a frost damage guy. I don't really know what to call it but it is so much fun. But I do recommend having at least one fire type weapon because you're gonna run into situations where you're fighting the red bar enemies and you're gonna notice you're not doing as much damage, but for literally every other health bar type, bone, armor, and I believe that's it, bone, armor, flesh. I think that's the only three, but bone and armor, you're going to decimate them. You're gonna run through them. And even sometimes the red bars, you can just chew through them. Just depends on how you stack up your skills, stack up your abilities when you use your spells and when you use your abilities, but you can chew through red bars. But this is my current frost weirder so far. Again, it is a mixture of the berserker and the spore warden using the ice tornadoes from the spore warden and using all of the frost abilities or frost skills from the berserker. So definitely give this guys a try. You're going to love it. You're going to love freezing everything. And if you're looking for an ice type build, this is the one you gotta try. But if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, please leave a like, leave a comment. It helps me out so much. Definitely stay tuned for more because I'm absolutely loving this game and I can't wait to put out more content once I level everything up. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.